Well, you guys, this is a very special day. I'm not sure if you've ever been behind the scenes at the Renaissance Festival, but we are getting a behind the scenes look at the costumes here. And I'm here with the very special costume director, Angela, come on over here. Hello. This is the woman behind all the costumes you see here at the Renfest. Handmade, hi. hi, how are you? I'm well. You're gonna give us the ultimate tour. I am, I'd Are, love to. This is actually where we do the sewing. Come on in. So let me ask you this, Angela. How many costumes do you think overall you guys are creating each year for the Ren Fest? Each year, we have somewhere between 150 and 200 cast members per season. Most cast members will repeat the character for three seasons. If we have new people, this year we had 25 new people. So I guess you could kind of say if each costume involves three to five or six pieces, then we're doing several hundred costume pieces per season. Who has the hardest costume to create? That is a perfect segue into the king's closet. What do we see here? So on this side, we have the general manager's costuming, we have the queen's costuming, okay. and we have his majesty's costume. Okay. Cool. His majesty is the one that you see on all the TV spots and everything, and he's the main host on the site. He's the hear ye, hear ye. The hear ye, hear ye okay. guy. And he is known <laughs> as the king of festival okay, okay and she is the queen of festival okay they're not like henry and catherine they are another entity entirely uh, i'm just looking around this closet though so they have multiple they have outfits exactly a themed costume for every weekend for example this is our queen's new Oktoberfest skirt. Okay. Which is essentially a dirndl in shape, which is traditional German. Okay. But we've brought it up to a queen level. Oh, okay. With embroidery and fancy materials and such. Um, and right behind you, you'll see the black and silver. That is our king's Halloween costume. Oh, the so king the gets dressed up. Oh, yes. The king has a good time. <laughs> He's also got some of the best hats in the world. Absolutely, he does. <laughs> so I know I get to try some stuff on today, which I'm very excited for. Can we, like, go and do that? Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. Go through here okay, and okay. take a left. What's a solid costume that is recognizable that I can get into today? I've got the perfect thing. The beef eaters. The beef eaters. The beef eaters. Okay. This is their hat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm, am I officially a beef eater? You are now? almost officially a beef eater. Okay. Come on in. Oh, this is you look amazing! I can put you right at the front gate. What does an official bee feeder do? How do they stand? Like this? They are greeting people at the gate, okay. and if they see royalty, like our own King George, the owner of the festival, they would bow to the king. Okay. Um, as a feminine person, you would curtsy to the king, which is a little weird in a bee feeder outfit. <laughs> do you want to look at a dress? I would love to look at a dress. <laughs> now, the first thing I want you to do is hold this. <laughs> Ladies, stand in this. So we're not really playing around here. This skirt probably that is so heavy. Probably weighs about 18 pounds. This is kind of like my wedding skirt. Uh, <laughs> Got to find a the floor. Fabric. It is a beautiful fabric. It's very, very soft too. Okay. And this is a brocade okay. fabric. Brocade. And because I didn't have your size, I'm not going to be able to button you all the way in. It's okay. But I think I can get you in a temporary way. Okay. This would go over a chemise. A chemise is basically a white gown with long sleeves that goes under all the items. Okay. You'd also have on a hoop skirt, which are on these racks. Oh, which would give this some... <laughs> it some... gives it the big volume. Okay. You'd have an underskirt. Okay. And you'd have the proper headwear, which I'm going to go get you one of those. Oh, I forgot that I still have my <laughs> beef eater hat on. This is a French hood. Okay. So this is just going to pop right on your head here. And you would have under there, you'd have your hair all pulled back in a little netted thing called a snoot which is the proper thing for the period. There is costuming available in a wealth of places. Okay. If you're creative, right. you can even go to a thrift store okay, yeah. and find a big long skirt, throw a little bodice on that that you find that's like perhaps a, a vest. Okay. Um, the easiest thing to do is actually simplicity, McCall's and butter it and make these patterns. Okay. And the fabrics you can generally get at an upholstery supply. Oh! Exactly, and if you're careful about sales and stuff and you have a sturdy enough machine, <laughs> you can sew your own for really a rather inexpensive price. Angela, thank you so much for letting <laughs> me try this on. Pleasure. Next time I'll come back for the Queen's gown when we have, you know, two days to get into it. Absolutely. But I appreciate you giving us this behind the scenes look at the costume shop. It's Absolutely. awesome and have a great Renaissance thank Festival Thank you so much. Year. Let me give you a big curtsy. Oh. Beautifully Thank done. You. Thank you. <laughs>